Hello, good day! This is Kai from Scarlet Libel Studio and this video, I'm going to tour you to my new bullet journal. I'm going to use a dotted notebook from Limelight. This is something that I bought accidentally. When I saw that it was dotted, I instantly grabbed it from the shelf and bought it. It has this envelope at the back for I guess stickers or whatever attachments you may have and you can close it with this elastic. I was planning to put everything, the whole migration in one video but it was too long so I'm splitting this into two parts. In this video I will show you the basic bullet journal pages and the rest I will show in the next video. I made the key. I use this black and white theme for a lot of my pages, basic ones. And uh, here is where you put the symbols that you're going to use for the rest of the journal, for your task, what's done, what's postponed, your events, notes, and all that you need to organize. As you can see here, I used the basic bullet journaling symbols. I just added some of my own for my tasks that I need to categorize into different areas like my architectural practice, my graduate studies, teaching schedule, teaching loads, the ministry tasks, and uh, personal tasks and events. Also, I need to add something for blogging, which uh, I started recently. Once that's done and pasted on the opposite page, I move on to the information page wherein I put my personal information like my name, address, contact numbers, and such. And now using a felt tip then I write down all the info that needs to go in this page. There was a time I lost some of my IDs. That's why it's important to write them down on your journal. Just so you have just one place to access all your account numbers. I also wrote down my blood type and the allergies that I have just for future reference. And if ever you have other online accounts, social media accounts, it's important that you write those here. It doesn't have to contain your password, just the account names. It's also important that you write these in case of emergency contact at the bottom of this page. Another important page in the bullet journal is the index. The index serves as your table of contents for the pages of your bullet journal. It's kind of weird starting the bullet journal on a November, but the pages of my old bullet journal ran out, so I'm continuing 2018 in this new one. Going back to finish the index, it's really important that you write page numbers for your journal so you can access the pages from here, the index. On the next page is the future log. The future log is an overview of the whole year. In this spread, I used two pages to set up the 2019 future log. And on the side, I used this extra page just to color code all the events according to the category.
And here is the finished product. Uh, there's a key, personal information, the index, and the feature log. Part 2 of my bullet journal migration will be about these additional journal pages. I'm going to show you how I made them. And if you notice throughout the video, there are small screens featuring my 2018 journal. I will be posting a different video dedicated to that soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and if you have any video requests about journaling or arts and crafts, just let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and to share and follow our social media accounts listed here. Again, this is Kai of Scarlet Libel Studio saying, stay organized and stay inspired. I'll see you guys next time.